<laughs> hey, what a good start. We've got goddess in the house. Woo! All right, team. Um, thank you to everyone that's watching this. Make sure you subscribe. Click, 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 and tell everyone about this. Subscribe, share, and obviously comment. Make sure you comment. All right, so I'm with Goddess right now, and I met Goddess via TikTok, doing some battles. Um, but I thought we'd come over to this platform to have a bit of a, a you know good chat and get to know Goddess a bit better. So, Goddess, welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good. I can't can't complain. But Sun's outside. Sun always, I love that about you, though. You're always happy. You just always got the vibe ready, and everyone's just like, yeah. We try, we try, we try, we try. <laughs> Thanks for your time today. Really appreciate it. You're very welcome. I want to discuss a few topics. Obviously, it's very unplanned. I don't have any questions pre-planned, but um, certainly mm -hmm. out of curiosity, I, you know, it'd be great to have a conversation and just get to know you a little bit better. Yeah. So I suppose the f before we begin, I like sweets, goddess. I ask everyone the same question. Everyone that comes on this platform, I always ask them, you know, what is your favorite type of sweet? I don't like sweets. I'm sweet enough. Lies, lies, <laughs> lies. <laughs> oh, you are lies. Um, I like fan. Is it Tang Fastics? Yes. You know all the Harry Bow type of sweets. Okay. One I did try actually the other day is like the. Oh, what was it? To like chew it or fruit? Oh no, was it? They like chew it or okay. something, but they're like mini ones, but yeah. without wrappers. Oh my god, they they are a game changer. That sounds nice. Without mm. the wrappers. I like Crazy. bonbons. I love crisps. I love Pepsi Max. I think, like, I can't live without Pepsi Max. Actually, um, get the brand deals in. Brand deals. Brand deals. We're ready. Mm -hmm. We're ready. Let's get the Pepsi. Know, yeah. Max. <laughs> I'll be okay. selling them on TikTok next week. So that's really interesting. All right. So look, obviously we met met via TikTok. So how long have you been on TikTok for? About a year now. Okay. So, About so a year. year. All right. Yeah. So and I started I uh, just being like more of a viewer in the beginning. Okay. And then I was thinking, yeah, well, I could do that. I'm, you know, I think I'm a little bit funny, at least. Um. So I started doing little ones, but it was just for the sake of it, just for the fun, just to kind of do something different. Okay. But my friends were like, you need to do a little bit more. You need to do a little bit more. So I started dressing a little bit more provocative, a bit more like, oh. So then you had the comedy side of it. But then it's like, oh, that's that's funny. But like, there's something to look, I don't know, like this, trapping. And it, I love making my TikToks go viral. So if I can make it funny and a bit sexy, it just gives me this drive and motivation to do it. And I love it. And in fact, one went viral. My first one on this new account went viral today. So oh, I was wow. I had a wow. lot of new followers, new comments. So that was like, it was lovely for me last night. Because I think once it gets to 10k, I just found follow, 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 coming to. So... Okay. I've been setting little goals for myself. Um, but yeah, I, I did think I'd ever be a TikToker, but here I am. Look, and well, here well, I am. Congratulations on that uh, that viral video. That sounds really good. So what kind of, I suppose, my question is then, so what prompted you to want to do like first try out, make it provocative? Because like I was seeing other girls doing it. I was like, well, I can. Okay. And especially big girls, you know, girls who are curvy, and I loved seeing their confidence. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, I'm going to do that as well. Like, why That's not? Good. Like, what's stopping me? The only thing that has stopped me in the past is my anxiety. So okay. sometimes I do things to kind of push my comfort zones. Yes. Like, doing this today was a big thing for me, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Just pushing through little things like that. Okay. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, so I suppose with so with the anxiety, has that has that have you had anxiety for a long time? Or yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah. Oh. Like that's that's half my battle. Like I didn't go live for a long time. Sometimes I'll have a break because I don't know. I speak myself out of it all kinds. Like I'll say I'll do something and I want to do it, but something in my on like take a devil on my shoulder. Going, you don't need to do that. 
but like the angels are on my side at the moment and I'm just pushing past it and thinking no sod it I'm not listening but um yeah like anxiety aside I am I am loving it okay. apart from you know having silly violations and getting accounts banned and stuff like that okay um, but I've I'm up to like a good standing at the moment with this account I've really like tried hard. I mean, I've not really done anything out of line, but you know what TikTok's like it can be very um it's very strict. It is very strict. Yeah, very strict. TikTok's right. a big Karen, isn't it? <laughs> it is it is very strict. And I can it, I can tell it. And you're not you're not the first person to say, you know, that you've had accounts blocked. So maybe maybe talk us through that because obviously you've been on you've been on TikTok for a year. How many yeah. accounts have you had in total? And maybe give us some reasons as to why you've been been banned. I'm sure that will help a lot of the viewers maybe starting TikTok so they can kind of be aware of the violations. Yeah. So I think that I think it's just two accounts that have been banned, three at the most. I can't remember because you know you just keep making another one and another one. You, you start forgetting. Um, but I was banned for nudity and solicitation or something like that. Okay. But in my lives, um. You know, I do have my makeup on. I have, like, I look nice. I have a low cut top on sometimes. But I think a woman should be able to wear what she wants without getting discriminated against. And yeah, I have low cut tops on. And I sometimes get banned and they say it's for nudity. And I, th I think it's disgusting mm. because I'm not actually doing anything. All I've done is talk or have a little dance or whatever. I don't do anything silly. But it is when it is. But yeah, I've had permanent bans from going live. I've still got two accounts which you can post on, but they're not allowed to go live on. Oh, okay. So it's a real pain in the bum because my other account was really big. Not really big, but it was hitting 30k. Right. And it was getting off to a good start. I made loads of new friends from doing the battles. Yeah. Um. So it's just starting again and connecting with everybody again and say, hey, come and follow me back. But it's just hard, but I'm just gonna keep pushing with this. Mm -hmm. Um, but I I don't know I don't know what kind of advice to give to be honest to just try and behave because that's what I do. I suppose I suppose how how do you obviously if you had you've had a number of accounts that have been banned. How what gives you the resilience or the motivation to you know start again, make another account again? You know, what gives you that motivation? I think just seeing my friends, like their their accounts get banned and they start it again, it just takes of like say a few weeks and then theirs hits off again. I'm like, oh well, I'll get mine back again, and it's actually working that way for me again. So I don't know. It's just about bouncing back and think, no, come on, get up, let's do it again. Okay. So um, you. So I know I know what you do in terms of your your content. You mentioned about the first trap is comedy. It's been provocative. Maybe talk us through you know, your live content because that'll be maybe slightly different. So, like, what does your what does your live content cover when you when you go live with people? Live content, okay. So behind the scenes, um, I do. I'm not going to talk much on it, but I do have subscription sites. You know, yeah. we we all know the spicy pages. Yeah. Um, so mainly like TikTok is to help grow those platforms where I'll have the links. So I'll have Instagram linked, I'll have Twitter linked. Um and it's to, like my lives, I'll have that light on. I'll have like a bunch of Afrobeat songs on, which is like my vibe to the max. I'm like just dancing and vibing and people love it. They're like, oh my god, hi yeah, like you seem like a good time. So that's mainly what it's about, just having a chat, you know, do some battles, do some quizzes, games, okay. and just having a good time. Like, and sometimes, you know, I'll try and promote what I need to promote, but I do, I just love being going on there, not being me. Mm. I like to be goddess. Okay. So, yeah, that's mainly what my lives are about. Okay. Just having a good time. Okay. So, yeah, it's like a form of escapism from. Yeah. Yeah, like so, as you say, like before, um, I do suffer with anxiety and a number of other things. So that's like when I'm on TikTok, I don't have anxiety. I don't have all these little problems. It's like my, I'm goddess. I'm not who 
I am at home. I'm yeah. goddess. You know, um, I just love having that other side to me where I'm not mum or having to do this, that and the other. It's just my time and I'll do what I want. Just love it. Oh, good. And what, okay, that's, that's really good. The kind of looking at your TikTok lives um, and the kind of comments that you get, how do you find it in terms of a balance? Is it positive? Is it negative? You get a mixture of both. Like, walk us through like, the comments that you get. It's 50 50. You can get guys who are so nice. You'll have guys who want to protect you. You'll have guys who just want to be derogatory. Mm. You know, it goes from one extreme to another, honestly. Like, but I think it's like that in any chat. People mm. go on there, they come on with a different Elias like a different kind of persona that yeah. they'll make up fake names and stuff. And then they, they troll or they ask really ridiculous questions and you're like, what? Like, are these really, like, are they really asking these type of questions? So yeah, I guess, you know yourself, don't you? You got some weird questions in there. Mm. But, what would you say has been like, maybe one of your weirdest questions that you've maybe been asked? Um... People ask me, will I fart or, you know. Really? Are you serious? <laughs> I'm serious. They're like, will you, will you stand up and fart or will you jump up and down? Will you stand up and do a 360 turn? Will you, if we do so many likes, will you show us your feet? I'm like, what? Really? Wow. Really? Yeah, it's, I mean, I think it kind of comes with the territory. That type of industry, you're going to bring some creeps in. But, you know, you just push past it, mute them, block them if you have to, and, you know, get on with the people who are commenting the right way and just keep it moving. I have a couple of moderators in there now and then. So a couple of my, I wouldn't say fans, but people who are regularly commenting and they look out for me, I've added them as moderators because I think, well, if I'm sat there and I'm, you know, vibing or whatever and someone's being silly or disres disrespectful, then mm. I just said you can deal with them and they yeah. love them. That's good. Um, so yeah that's good so so goddess obviously you classify yourself as a as a big beautiful woman i do um, there'll be loads of big beautiful women out there that are maybe anxious they're a bit insecure maybe about that their kind of body type what advice would you give to those people that maybe are feeling like that be you unapologetically mm. be yourself you are like, I always thought to myself, oh no, people don't want to see my tummy. You know, like going on holiday and being in bikinis and stuff, I'd be like, oh God, I don't want to like upset anyone kind of thing. And then something clicked and I went, hang on a minute. I'm going to wear this bikini and if you don't like it, it's your problem. So that's like the mindset just turns from there. And, you know, say before all of this started, I'd post I was on holiday, post bikini pic, a nice one, tasteful, you know. People were like, oh my god, like I'm not saying I've got an amazing body, but people were like, oh my god, like considering you're a curvy girl, like I love your confidence. It's made me want to go and do that. So it's kind of a bit of an empowerment, mm. and I want to be able to help other girls feel like they're sexy as well. Even girls who aren't my size, who are skinny or you know petite, and they're feeling like, oh, and I, I don't know. So seeing me being confident in a certain, like they see me on the other side of the spectrum, but they're seeing me confident, it helps them too. So that's like another part of why I do TikToks. I like to just embrace being big. Like, why not? Why not? Just, I, as I say, be you unapologetically. That's the only advice I'd give. Don't worry about anyone else thinks. People are not going to like you anyway, so you might as well do what you want to do. There's always going to be people who disagree, always. So you might as well go ahead and do what you want. And, you know, within reason. Makes sense. Within reason, you know, like sensible and stuff like that. But, mm. yeah. Have you, have you, I mean, have you ever wanted to be skinny? No. Or a different I, version of yourself? I, yeah, I'd like to do a 2.0 version of me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> S BBW. I've actually got an account on TikTok called Goddess BBW 2.0. Oh, wow, oh so funny. Um, but yeah, I've had um, 
a bit of like not wouldn't say body issues, but you know, being a big girl comes with certain things, you know, wobbly arms, wobbly mm-hmm. tummy. I'm happy pretty much with my body, but I do want to get a tummy tuck. Okay. Want, there's a certain things about my body which I want to improve. Okay. And I think half of the battle is just going to the gym, turning up, but there's certain things where, you know, I, I like to save up and, um, you know, just fine-tune my body a little bit. I don't want to change shape or lose weight. I mm. maybe want, you know, look a little bit more, like, drawn in the... Not drawn, but, you know... Slim down, just cut down a little bit of, pardon me, just cut down a little bit everywhere. Okay. But but not too much because I am the most confident I am like this. Yes. So if it's not broken, I'm not going to change it. Makes sense. Makes sense. I'd I'd lose weight if I had to get surgery. Okay. That's that's the only reason. Okay. I think, yeah. yeah. No, thank you. So what do do your, so do your kids, do your kids know that you're on um, TikTok? Yeah, um, one of my daughters has TikTok herself. Okay. Um, but yes, but yeah, she does know I've got a TikTok. But you know, everybody's. I, I think most of my friends and their kids as well have got TikTok. Yes. Um. But yeah. How, how do you ever have like conversations about like the content? Did you ever watch the content? Did you ever get to watch the content? No, I don't show them. I just feel like that's a side. It's not just for me. It's yes. not for the kids. I'm not saying they're not allowed to watch it. Yes. But I think it's like some of the quotes I do are not very child friendly. Sure. Um, because I do like to do funny ones which will get a lot of attention. So you've got to kind of play with the words a little bit sometimes to get people's yeah. attention. Yeah. Um plus I, I don't like kids being on TikTok anyway, so I don't really like talking too much about it. I keep yeah. it away from them. Yes. So when I did start all of this, I think there was one or once or twice I the, the kids were in the background and I just didn't like it. So I've got a time table now where okay. they're in school. If I want to go on from nine till three, I will. Yeah. Yes. I went on from half ten this morning with a coffee. So I thought, yeah. okay, they can start seeing me just relaxing in the morning rather than me sat up with my hair on, my makeup on, the lights are on. Yes. It's like another version of, not of another version, but it's je- um, jazzy and another light. Sometimes I'm in the kitchen. Sometimes I'm in here. Sometimes I'm in the bathroom washing my face. It's just, you know, just little things like that. But yeah, I don't really like to let the kids in on that because I just, like I said earlier, I like to be a different, you know, not me. I like to be goddess. Mm, makes sense. So, um, they will go to bed usually around nine and ten. So okay. I have a little potter around in what I need to do. And then once everything's settled at home, then up and away I go. So then that's like where I get to have my downtime anyway. Um, I just love it. It's like a lovely, like, little fun journey for me. Makes sense. No, thank you. Mm. No, thanks for sharing. I appreciate that. So what's your, what are your aspirations, you know, on TikTok, on the socials? You know, what, what are you hoping to achieve? I'm trying to build my platforms. You know, as well as going viral, you know, that that's that's just for fun, really, like, to, to go viral and stuff. But um, it drives me to do it more. The more I know I can do it, the more I'll I'll do it. So mm. it's given me a bit of a motivation and drive. Um, but I love seeing my platforms grow. I just love it. I could just it helps me. Plus, um, it brings in um, money mm. when they are following. Then they, you know, subscribe to particular sites. Um, yeah. yeah, that's probably my main aspiration. Plus, I like to promote. Being a big girl is okay. You can have fun. You can still do these dances and things, this, that, and the other. Yeah. As a, as a curvier girl, because I know there's girls out there dying to do it. They're just nervous and anxious in case people laugh at them. But I did it nervously. And you know what? People have got so much love. Yes. So much love in the comments. There's a, they are, obviously, there's a, literally the very, very, very odd comments you'll get. Um, 
somebody but like have you seen yourself have you got any respect and um oh look how fat you are or look at your teeth you know there's just silly comments that you just mean but i ignore them i just ignore them it doesn't bother me okay that's good that's good that's good that you've got that resilience to kind of let it pass you by as opposed to getting attached to those comments and they are going to be trolls yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, nobody's got perfect teeth in the world. And, yeah, I'm a big girl. I'm classed as a BBW. Well, I'm not a huge girl, but I'm plus-size curvy. Mm. So BBW kind of fits. And, you know, people will come across saying you're fat, and I'm like, wow, really? Like, wonder why I'm called a BBW. And you're like, oh, my God, you call me fat. That's really hurt me. Yeah. Like, so original as well. As soon as you hurt somebody's ego by turning them down or knocking them back. They're like, you're fat, some, such and mm. such. And I'm like, wow, that really hurts. In fact, someone said it earlier. Because you have guys who are like, um, that's one thing that's so annoying, is I find a lot of guys think that just because I'm on a certain platform that I need people to help me make content and I'm yeah. just not for it at all. Mm. It's just disgusting. So I said no. And in the end, I had to sound to F off. I said, oh, wow. leave me alone. And he went, fat something. I can't remember. And I was like, oh, I'm so gutted as a BBW. Um, I just try and ignore what I can. Mm, okay, that's good. Yeah. So like, obviously, I, I'm not going to touch up on the on the spicy sides. Obviously, we, we can read between the lines. But I suppose, what was, what was your motivation for, for trying those platforms? Why did you I'm find glad it? I am glad you've asked me that. Um, <laughs> so, basically, at the time, I was coming out of a relationship and, you know, it wasn't feeling like me. Um, yeah, I was just kind of feeling a little bit lost, a little bit, I wouldn't say lonely. I wasn't yeah. that desperate to be with anybody or anything like that, but I thought, right, okay, well, now I'll use this time to focus on me, build up some confidence and security back, um, feel empowered, learn to love my body because I was feeling a bit, with being locked down, I was a bit mm, feeling down about myself. Um, but, yeah, and... I wanted to empower other people. I wanted to feel empowered myself. Okay. There were so many different, like I could go on forever, you know, help other girls feel confident as well and say, you know, I can do it, then, then you can. I mean, it takes a lot to do it. It wasn't an easy decision. Mm. Like I played with the idea for a good six months. Okay. Um, and I knew that it might upset family, which it did. Mm-hmm. Um, and we had a fallout, but we are, you know, we are good again, which is good. Mm-hmm. Um, and I carried on throughout that. It's like I'm not stopping doing what I want to do because somebody else doesn't like it. Like I said earlier, people are not going to like things you do. Mm-hmm. So you might as well. Oh. Sorry, I had a battery warning there. <laughs> um, people are not going to like everything you do. So even though it is family, it's something I always wanted to do. There's been certain things that have happened in my life that I haven't been in control of. I will not touch on that subject at all. Yeah. Yes. Um, but it was kind of gaining back a control as well. Mm-hmm. So doing what I do online would allow me to feel sexy, feel empowered. You know, I'd have these guys, like, flocking at my feet, shall we say, you know, in a sense. Yeah. I'm not saying I'm, like, amazing or anything like that, but, you know, if somebody is watching this and they end up making a site, you know, and think, okay, I can do it. You know, it's a lovely feeling having people, you know, wanting after you. It makes you feel special in a way, and sometimes like I don't care about them wanting me it's nice to connect with them as well I always say you know people ask can they talk to me here then everyone I was like go and subscribe support me first and then we'll talk yeah yeah and then we'll chat you know we can have a deep chat if you want um so I, I love to you know connect stuff like that 
So yeah, it's basically just a little bit of everything why I started. Okay. But I do love the feeling of that I'm in control of everything that happens on there. Mm -hmm. And it keeps me feeling happy. Um because it's just completely ran by me. That's really good. Yeah. And as long as you're happy, that's the main thing. I think you've yeah. you've touched on that point. What would you say? Like, I'm not going to go into the numbers because I hate when people ask me how much money do you make. Ah! So, but people will be interested just to understand. They will be interested, right? And I don't really talk about percentages. And I'm not a massive creator. And for a big girl, it's hard. I'm going to say that it's bit. Yes. It's, it is hard for a big girl having to restart these socials again. Like I've lost an Instagram. I've lost a, um, I've lost a Snapchat. I've lost a TikTok, and it really, really like I don't know if you know yourself when you lose a social media platform, it can be detrimental to you, like because you have these regular people coming in all the time and having this traffic on your platforms, and when it goes, you're having to like restart again. And if your mental health's a little bit down, you've got no motivation. Yeah. So. As I say, I'm not a massive creator and my I don't I do put hundred percent in but not all of the time. I'd say I'm around like the top fourteen percent. So okay. I'm trying to think. Well, I don't make a, a ton of money. It's it's maybe a few hundreds a month and yeah. it definitely helps. Definitely That's helps. And being on TikTok live in the past four weeks has like skyrocketed my following on those sites. Yes. So it's really, really helped because it's kind of like they get to know who I am. They like real women as well. Mm. So, you know, having me on live, they get to chat with that person. Do you know what I mean? Yep. So, That's really good. yeah. That's good. Mm. That's really good. Look, happy you is a happy everyone. Um, so tell, <laughs> tell the people just give them a reminder that's why we wrap up just let them know where they can find you um and maybe what times they can normally find you on on tiktok on tiktok um i'd usually be on between nine and three in the afternoon hmm. maybe a little bit later and then usually from about nine or ten at night until whatever time i feel like okay um, and that, that is uk time just for everyone that's watching this a uk time Really keen um, just for everyone to kind of leave their comments, their feedback, um, make sure yeah. you like, make sure you share. And yeah, look, is there anything else that you want to say before we before we wrap up? No, except keep the tunes coming. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, keep them, we'll keep them coming. What is, before we go though, what is your, who's your favourite Afrobeats, you know, musician or what's your favourite song at the moment? Um, I'd probably say like Chris Brown and Burner Boy, like the kinds of music they play. Chris Brown is actually my husband. Um, yeah. yeah, I'll show you. So on the screen, he's there. Oh wow! <laughs> and then he's there. So yeah, we're pretty close. Um, <laughs> very, very close. But yeah, do you know I love a bit of everyone. Um. I don't know who half of the Afrobeat singers are, but I thought, I mean, yeah. So, just always on. I just love Afrobeat. It's just a good vibe. Love it. But I'd oh. probably say Burner Boy and um, Chris Brown. Got to be my number ones, definitely. Wicked. Mm -hmm. Well, Goddess, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. It has. You're it very is. welcome. I know. I'm sure we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Maybe for we a part. Well, I might be back for part two, 2.0. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> well, no, thanks a lot. Have a good You're day. Yeah. See you Bye. later. Bye. Bye.